Hi everyone, so today we are going to learn about the break-even points. So at the end of the lessons, the student ha shall have defined and determined the break-even point, calculated break-even point problems, and solved problems involving buying and selling products with accuracy. So first, let us define what is a break-even point. So it is the point when the total cost of expenses and the total revenues are equal. And it is the point of intersection. So ano bang ibig sabihin nito? Basically, it tells us na yung kita mo tsaka yung ginastos mo ay equal. So wala ka ditong profit or wala ka rin ditong loss. Kasi equal lang sila. Kumbaga nabawi mo lang yung ipinuhunan mo. So, dito nga sa picture, makikita natin na ang ating break-even point ay yung nasa gitna. We also have our fixed cost. A fixed cost is an expense that does not change as production volume increases or decreases within a relevant range. For example, is your monthly rent. So, ito yung mga pinagagastusan nyo buwan-buwan or taon-taon na hindi nagbabago. For example, yung monthly rent nyo. So, kahit na wala kang kinita ngayong araw na to, or kahit sobrang dami mong kinita, ganun at ganun pa rin yung babayaran nyo. Unlike sa ating variable cost. So, ito namang variable cost is a cost that varies in relation to changes in the volume of the activity. For example, is your labor and direct materials. So, lately, um, a lot of shops are closing down because of the pandemic, so their labor cost is also lowered. So, dati, for example, may isang restaurant na may dine-in, may take-out kompleto, meron siguro silang sampung taong pinapatrabaho or nagkatrabaho doon. Pero ngayon, dahil hindi na available masyado ang mga dine-in, dahil konti na lang ang pwedeng kumain doon at madalas ay take out na, syempre babawasan na nila yung labor. So, depende siya sa araw kung dadami ang labor or mababawasan. Same with direct materials. Pwede ngayong araw na to madami kang customer. So, marami kang lulutuin, marami kang sahog na gagamitin, mga gulay or mga isda or kung ano man yung pagkain sa restaurant. So, bukas, pag konti, edi ko konti na rin yung direct materials na gagamitin nyo. So, consider the given total cost of expense and the revenue. If X is the quantity of product that must be sold, find the value of X at the break-even point. So, dito, para lang tayo nag-algebra, i-equate nyo lang sila sa isa't isa. So, you have X plus 7 and 2X. So, to find the value of X, we have to equate them. So, 7 is equal to 2x minus x. So, x is equal to 7. So, these other two questions, you can try it at home. So, an example of a word problem is, It costs Amy 4, piece, 4 pesos to make one donut. She made 100 pieces and she plans to sell them at 5 pesos each. How many pieces must she able to sell in order to reach the break-even point? So, di ba ang ating expenses? So, your total expense, so your product expenses, should be equal to your total revenue. So, your product revenue. So, ang total expense natin ay 4 pesos para sa 100 pieces. So, ilang piraso ang kailangan mo ibenta kung kaya mong magbenta ng 5 pesos each. So, you have 5x. So, you have 400 is equal to 5x. So, 400 divided by 5 is equal to x. So, 80 is your X. So, kailangan mo lang daw makabenta ng 80 pieces ng donuts para mabawi yung uh, puhunan mo. So, kapag lumampas ka ng 80, magkakaroon ka ng profit. Kapag nag-less than 80 ka, magkakaroon ka ng loss. 
So that would be all for our lesson for today and I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, clarifications, do not hesitate to ask. Thank you very much and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye!